dear students in my previous lecture i was discussing about uh, the laplace transform application on differential equations we called this title as transforms of derivatives transforms of derivatives as a first example means first application we have studied right side was zero and today a uh, few other cases as applications we have to understand on the right side when it is a constant on the right side when it is an exponential term on the right side when it is a trigonometric function on the right side algebraic term on the right side uh, combination of all these terms may be which we are going to conclude as general problem well uh, in the previous case we got the solution <coughs> by applying laplace transform to both the terms that is y double dash means second order derivative we had and uh, today let me take another uh, problem as a first case to study <coughs> that is also with exponential yesterday we have taken on the right side as zero and today the remaining cases i am going to discuss in this in this lecture that is the problem is like this d square y divided by dx square minus y minus y equal to e to the power 2t and plus of e to the power minus 2t and that is with y at this is t <coughs> and y at 0 equal to 0 and y dash 0 equal to minus 1. In this problem, uh, we expect the data one is the ordinary differential equation which is said to be linear and it must contain the constant coefficients this coefficient is 1 and this coefficient is minus 1 so these two are constant coefficients and it is a linear differential equation because degree of uh, the or uh, derivative in this case uh, it is 1 and it is said to be linear differential equation now let me write uh, this differential equation in the another in another uh, notation form like y double dash of t we can write minus y of t is equal to e to the power 2t plus e to the power minus of 2t in fact uh, this term happens to be trigonometric function also with the hyperbolic that is cos hyperbolic also you can write directly you can write uh, its Laplace transform also otherwise with the same term you can keep and then you can continue these are the initial conditions and this is a differential equation together this is called initial value problem in the previous uh, problem we solved in the previous lecture we solved the problem right side was 0 <coughs> and the differential equation was supposed to be the homogeneous differential equation and this is non homogeneous differential equation and linear differential equation and with constant coefficients three things should be in your mind one is it should be linear it should be uh, non homogeneous uh, sorry uh, maybe homogeneous maybe non homogeneous and constant coefficients you must expect and the initial conditions because without initial conditions you cannot uh, apply this concept that is at operator as Laplace transform in these problems because only with initial conditions when you give the expansion for this then only you can write the further expansion when you studied as transforms of derivatives now what we do here this is a differential equation even this can also be solved by another method already you, you, you are much familiar by the analytical technique other than Laplace transform let me give the comparison at the end how these uh, uh, initial conditions are going to be applied in finding the constants of integration now let us uh, pro follow the procedure as your Laplace transform apply to each term in the LHS and apply to each term on RHS therefore taking Laplace transform on both sides then L law <coughs> y double dash t minus L of y t and is equal to L of e to the power 2t plus L of e to the power minus 2t. Now we have derived for second order derivative 
the transforms of derivatives the expression is s square l of whatever this dependent variable is there same thing function of t you, you must write and minus that is s into y of 0 I told you that this degree should be should go on reducing by 1 unit and functional values first is without derivative and next is with the derivative and also except the first term all the other terms must be written as uh, must be followed by negative sign that is y dash of 0. This is for the first Laplace minus L of y t is equal to here L of e to the power 2 t that is 1 divided by s minus 2 plus of 1 divided by s plus 2. I told you that yesterday that is L of e to the power a t that is plus minus is equal to 1 divided by s minus plus minus or plus a. So, first one is plus then you must get minus, second one is minus you must get it as plus sign. Now, whatever these initial conditions are given you must apply replace y 0, y dash 0 uh, by the given values. Therefore, y 0 is equal to 0 and y dash 0 it is minus 1. Therefore, and uh, uh, collect the coefficients of L y t. So, that L y t is one term and L y t is another term. This should be S square S square minus 1 into L of y t because S square and minus 1. You can take this L of y t as a common function. Then this is equal to 0 and this is equal to minus 1. So, minus minus plus sign 1 is equal to 1 by s minus 2 plus 1 by it is s plus 2. Now, we have to keep only the Laplace transform operator in the left side that is s square minus 1 L of y t is equal to 1 divided by s minus 2 plus 1 divided by s, s plus 2 and minus 1 is there and you have to keep only the Laplace transform in the left side that is L of y t is equal to uh, and this this all this also we can take it as LCM that is s plus 2 and s minus 2 gives uh, you will get it as a product that means here s plus 2 into s minus 2 there are three terms one is s plus 2 multiplied by 1 and s minus 2 multiplied by 1 and 1 minus 1 multiplied by both that is minus s plus 2 into s minus 2. This is the term we have then minus 2 plus 2 you can cancel and after the simplification in the numerator that is 2 s yes in the numerator and this must be like uh, minus of s square minus of s square uh, if you release the product then minus of 4 that becomes plus 4 because you are taking this minus sign inside and that will be that will be a plus b into a minus b that must be a square minus b square a square minus b square multiplied by minus sign that is minus of a square plus b square that is 2 s minus s square and plus 4 that is whole divided by s plus 2 into it is s minus 2. This is for Laplace transform that is L of y t. Then L of y t and uh, that, that also should be multiplied by s square minus 1. Then therefore, I, I send this term to the right side denominator that is s square minus 1. Okay. So, now what we have in the denominator one term, second term and s square minus 1 two terms you are getting like s plus 1 and s minus 1. Therefore, L of y t is equal to 
in the decreasing order if you write decreasing degree minus s square and plus 2 s and plus 4 whole divided by if I write s square minus 1 by splitting it it should be s plus 1 into s minus 1 and the remaining two terms as they are that is s plus 2 and s minus 2 this is for Laplace transform. Already I told you that uh, Laplace transform because you must have studied uh, the previous topic of this transform of derivatives also. When you started learning uh, Laplace transform you must have studied uh, the elementary Laplace transformation of different functions and inverse Laplace transform of different functions and the convolution theorem and a periodic function like that. All those properties uh, including elementary Laplace transform and their inverse you have studied. Now, all those things put together in this right side step we are going to apply because this is the case of now four linear factors that is first linear factor, second linear factor, third linear factor and fourth linear factor. You have to find out the inverse function of this. I, uh, I told you that up to certain stage you are going to apply Laplace direct form and after that you have to find out the inverse form because why you have to find out the inverse form the answer is you have to find the original function of this differential equation. Differential equation solution means to find the original function that original function is nothing but this y is a function of t this is the functional representation like y is a function of t that is going to be written as last uh, statement which will be declared as solution of differential equation. The <coughs> this is to be studied y t that is L inverse and minus s square it is plus 2 s plus 4 whole divided by it is s plus 1 into s minus 1 into s plus 2 into s minus you need to learn here I am going to apply the partial fractions in order to split this product in the denominator. You need to understand how this is going to be resolved into the partial fractions because partial fractions in the uh, other uh, syllabus that means in other courses you must have studied earlier to your diploma course and uh, this partial fraction in case if you are not studied you can go for the recapitulation of all those basic concepts in the partial fractions that means product of linear and linear uh, form uh, this problem gives and similarly product of linear and quadratic uh, and next one is product of quadratic and quadratic. These three cases will play the major role in uh, the discussion of partial fractions. Now, how this is going to be resolved that is the next part of our uh, work then what is the first step you are going to write. The first step is you have to take the function inside in whichever the product type it is up appeared then that is to be taken in terms of how many constants totally how many factors are there so many constants you have to include and each constant you have to calculate by direct substitution of the opposite values that is one method. Another method is you have to take the complete LCM in the denominator and then compare the coefficients on both sides that is fundamental principle involved in resolving the partial fractions and there further study. Here I take this part numerator is you can write like uh, by partial fractions by partial fractions minus s square plus 2 s and plus 4 that is divided by s plus 1 s plus s minus 1 and s plus 2 and s minus 2 will be taken as what is the method first term is a divided by s plus 1 b divided by s minus 1 c divided by s plus 2 and d divided by s minus 2. This is the procedure of resolving the product of linear factors in the denominator when you come across. You must remember the procedure of resolving into partial fractions and you must make sure make sure what kind of fraction you have that 
fraction always must be before resolving into this type your fraction must be proper fraction it should not be improper fraction you know about the, the proper and improper fraction I suppose uh, what do you mean by proper fraction a proper fraction is 1 like x divided by otherwise x plus 1 that is x square plus 1 that means the degree of the polynomial x in the numerator always must be less than the degree of the polynomial in the denominator such a fraction is always regarded uh, will be regarded as that is proper fraction. Now this type of fractions directly you can take that is x divided by something plus 1 divided by something and der differentiation or integration directly you can proceed. But whenever you have like the term of the uh, type x square plus 1 for example that is x square here 2 is there and x square plus 2 otherwise it will cancel then uh, our, explana our explanation will not be completed. To complete the explanation that is x square plus 1 divided by x square plus 2 this is this is degree 1 and this is degree 2 that means here in this case 1 is less than 2 and here 2 is there 2 is there. So, 2 is equal to 2 and in another case x cube plus 1 divided by x square plus 2 here 3 is greater than 2 you remember these two cases are called improper fractions and this is called the proper fraction you make sure you, you have been studying differential calculus integral calculus Laplace transform and differential equations differential equations in this occasion and differential equations in another part also. So, whenever you are applying the partial fraction concept you must basically remember these two things carefully. The first thing is the before applying this concept you must make sure your existing fraction should be proper or not and this is allowed only to proper fractions not for improper fractions. Suppose you get improper fractions what you are going to do? when you get improper fractions you must reduce it to the proper fractions by dividing like the numerator by the denominator. How you are going to divide x square plus 2 and x square plus 1 that is one time will give you that is x square plus 2 and the subtraction gives that is minus 2 plus 1 it is minus 1. Then adjustment uh, by writing between minus 1 and uh, minus 1 and plus 1 and putting this x square plus 1 in the denominator itself you will be getting it. How to write that one? That is 1 minus of 1 that is plus of minus of 1 and then x square plus 1. If you take this here then x square plus 1 and then this one. So, 1 1 remains. Therefore, here also division you have to go for it. This is uh, degree is greater than 2. Therefore, improper fraction is 1 when the degree of polynomial in numerator is either it is equal to or it is greater than in these two cases we will call it as improper fraction that has to be converted in in the form of uh, proper fraction that means degree of polynomial in numerator should be less than the degree of polynomial in the denominator similarly here also you have to divide till you get till you get the numerator of uh, polynomial the degree should be less than the degree of the denominator. Anyway, here fortunately we have uh, the second degree here highest degree in the numerator and highest degree in the denominator if you take the product of all these four factors it leads to that is s to the power of 4 in the numerator it is s square therefore 2 is less than 4 therefore it is called proper fraction. So, without any hesitation you can write the splitting of partial fraction concept by writing all these constants like a b c d as splitting into four different factors and also the case you have here linear factor linear means s degree 1 s degree 1 and s degree 1 s degree 1. Now you have to find out these constants a b c d that is your next job how to find out the constants a b c d you have to write like this s square with minus plus 2s and plus 4 is equal to that means you have to take the LCM here and this is already in the form of LCM and then on both sides you have to compare the coefficients otherwise whenever you have linear factors directly opposite values if you give it is sufficient 
directly you are getting the values of constants. How you are getting? I will write this step. This is most important step that you have to follow carefully. That is A into this cancels. That means when you take LCM, this cancels, leaving the coefficients s minus one and s plus two and s minus two one term plus B into it is s plus one s plus two into s minus two plus of C into s minus one otherwise s plus one and s minus 1 into s minus 2 plus of d into d into s plus 1 into s minus 1 into s plus 2. This is this is the factor which you have to understand when when you are taking this as LCM and the term is divided by this you are getting remaining 3 factors as coefficients for A. Similarly, for B similarly for C and similarly for D. After this, now it is very easy step where you can substitute the opposite values of these opposite values of these factors. That means, opposite values of these factors means you can go one by one. S plus one is there put S equal to minus one, S minus one is there put S equal to plus one, S plus two is there put S equal to minus two and here plus two. Respectively, you will get four different values which are uh, the values of these constants a, b, c, d respectively. Now, as a first case, I am going for substitution at s is equal to this is plus 1 is there s equal to minus 1 and s equal to plus 1 and s equal to plus 2 is there I am taking minus 2 and s equal to s equal to s equal to minus 2 and s equal to plus 2. Now, you see that very quickly, very quickly you are getting the values of these calculations. Now, at the same time from LHS, you are giving s equal to minus 1, fine. What happens in the left side? s equal to minus 1, minus 1 whole square becomes plus 1 and this minus 1, minus 1 and s equal to minus 1 that is minus 2 means minus 3 and plus 4 that becomes 1 only in the left side put s equal to minus 1, the calculation you are getting it as 1, but on the right side wherever s minus 1 is there, uh, sorry s plus 1 is there, this is s plus s minus 1 and when you are giving s equal to minus 1, so wherever s plus 1 is there all those terms are leading to be 0, this is the term, this is the term and this is the term. That means this term becomes 0, this term becomes 0 and this term becomes 0, whereas this is not going to become 0, because s equal to minus 1 you are substituting that must be is equal to a into this is minus 2 and minus 1 you are substituting that is 1, minus 1 you are substituting and it is minus 3. Therefore, a takes the value, how much a takes that is 3 to the 6 minus into minus plus sign that is 1 divided by 6. First calculation that is a value is equal to 1 by 6. There is there is very comfortable if you write uh, clearly the LCM uh, properly and left side cancellation of that LCM. That means, after taking this LCM both sides LCM will, will be same quantity product of 4 factors that you can cancel very easily. Then second calculation s equal to 1 s equal to 1 when you are giving left side that is s equal to 1 is minus 1 and s equal to 1 is 2 and 4 that is 4 plus 2 6 and left side it becomes as 5 that is 6 minus 1 you are getting it as 5 and s equal to 1 gives 0 wherever s minus 1 factor is there like s minus 1 is here and s minus 1 is, is here and s minus 1 is here whereas s minus 1 is not here. Therefore, first term 0, second, third term is 0 and fourth term is also going to become 0 whereas second term gives the answer that is s equal to plus 1. Therefore, b into 2 1 plus 1 and s equal to 1 means it is 3 and s equal to 1 means it is minus 1. Therefore, this implies b is equal to here also 3 to the 6, but minus 1 by 6 because minus sign is there. And next calculation 
that is C. Uh, next S C equal to minus 2, wherever S plus 2 is there, that term is going to become 0. S plus 2 is there, this part becomes 0 and S plus 2 is there, this part becomes 0 and S plus 2 is not here, this is not going to become 0, whereas here you are substituting S C equal to minus 2, minus 2 plus 2 gives us 0, the whole product becomes 0. Therefore, here S C equal to minus 2 you are substituting, that is left side S C equal to minus 2, that is minus 4, uh, minus 2 means plus 4 and because of minus sign, this 4 and this 4 cancels and S C equal to minus 2, that is minus 4. Therefore, minus 4 remains in the left side and C into C into S C equal to minus 2, that is minus 2 plus 1, that is minus 1, minus 2 minus 1, minus 3 and minus 2 minus 2, that must be minus 4 and last term that becomes 0. This implies C is equal to C is equal to that is 3 4s are 12 minus 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 3 times there is that becomes minus and this becomes minus. So, easily you can cancel minus sign 3 4s are 12 means 4 divided by 12 that means 4 3s are 12 that is 1 by 3 this is the answer. Then last calculation that is S equal to plus 2 in which order I have chosen uh, there is uh, you need not to buy heart all these things in which order I have chosen in this order that is S plus 1 is there, I take an opposite sign, S minus 1 is there, I take an plus 1, S plus 2 is there, I take an minus 2 and S minus 2 is there, I take an it as plus 2. This is uh, uh, the last calculation which you are going to put it as plus 2. Then wherever S minus 2 is there, that term is going to become 0 and other term is not becoming 0. Here S minus 2, this product is 0. Here S is equal to 2 means S minus 2 is there, this term becomes 0 and S minus 2 is there, this product also becomes 0 and S C equal to 2 means here S, S minus 2 is not there, so that this term is not going to become 0. As a result, you can calculate the value of D, that is S C equal to 2 means left side that is 4, S equal to four, uh, 2 means that is plus 4 and because of minus sign that is minus 4, minus 4 and plus 4 cancels you are getting in the left side as plus 4 that remains to be same and uh, D that is capital D into S is equal to 2 means 3 and S is equal to 2 means 1 and S is equal to 2 means 4. Then you are getting D is equal to that is 4 divided by 4 3 is a 12 otherwise it is a product 4 directly you can cancel. Then D takes the value that should be plus 1 by 3. Then th when once you calculate all these values, now it is your last step you, uh, that you have to you can write very comfortably. When you replace all these quantities uh, for uh, constants which you have proposed those constants by uh, for accommodating the partial fractions, that is the step which you have to follow from this step onwards. Now I will rub it after the calculation is completed. Okay. I will substitute accordingly for this step that means y t is equal to L inverse. So, this part I have taken A divided by S plus 1, the whole part inside this part it is equal to A by S plus 1, you have taken A is equal to 1 by 6, that is 1 by 6 divided by S plus 1 and B that is minus 1 by 6, I will put it as plus sign only no problem that is one term and uh, L inverse minus 1 by 6 that is in place of B and denominator is S minus 1 and C value that is 1 by 3 and plus of 1 by 3 divided by it is S plus 2 and plus of the last term is that is 1 by 3 and divided by it should be S minus 2. This is your inverse Laplace transform operator is going to be operated. Now, I will rub all these things, then this is the calculation part of the constants using partial fractions for the case that 
product of linear factors. Now, the first constant in the numerator nothing to do with the, with the denominator. What is L inverse of uh, even to for more clarity you can write like this L inverse of 1 by s plus 1 minus 1 by 6 L inverse of 1 by s minus 1 plus 1 by 3 L inverse of 1 by s plus 2 and plus of 1 by 3 that is L inverse of 1 by s minus 2. Now, you have to recall only the exponential term uh, already in the previous uh, case we have discussed and I, ha I had written that exponential term. What is L of e to the power plus minus a t that is equal to 1 divided by s minus or plus a. This is the result in all the four terms I am going to apply that is y t means y t is nothing but solution of the problem. This is uh, the application problem where uh, uh, the graph of hyperbolic function is going to be written in the form of differential equation. Then y t is equal to that is 1 by 6, 1 by s plus 1 that means uh, this is the case of inverse and this L inverse L if you shift that becomes L inverse like this. Okay. This is s plus 1 is there if you think s plus 1 then it must be minus sign. If it is minus that must be plus sign. Therefore, 1 by s plus 1 can be written as e to the power minus t. That means, if you want to understand in the reverse order we are applying L inverse we get this answer and if you apply Laplace transform you must get this answer that is vice versa procedure direct Laplace and inverse Laplace both must match each other directly here what I was telling is L inverse of f s this is L inverse of f s is equal to f t that means you are given the statement of the problem in terms of s and the answer is written in terms of t that is what uh, from the basic definition I have been telling. Then from the second term minus 1 by 6 and 1 divided by s minus 1 e to the power t plus 1 by 3 then 1 divided by s plus 2 e to the power minus 2 t and plus of 1 by 3 that is e to the power 2 t. This is your final solution for the differential equation. Now, if you want to get it back like that you differentiate this twice because second order derivative is there. This is the solution that is the differential equation. You must recall the meaning of this uh, or basic definitions of this differential equation and solution. So, differential equation is one which involves derivatives, but solution is one which is in the absence of derivatives, but in the presence of constants. But to calculate the constants, we made use of these initial conditions. This is how this uh, transforms of derivatives goes uh, for uh, different uh, terms on the right side. This is the case of exponential term. So, next problem I am going to solve as another variety that is application of uh, Laplace transform on of derivatives by choosing some other uh, exponential form you have studied and the homogeneous form you have studied. Now, algebraic term I am going to take how that algebraic, algebraic term is going to play the role on the right side to give the Laplace transform and further that is inverse Laplace transform that is nothing but right side when you are choosing the, that is the case of exponential here the, in this problem. I hope you can uh, reproduce this problem. It is only a single term is there on the right side that is e to the power 3 t and uh, the procedure which I explained easily you can compare. Next is some trigonometric function is there and uh, constant uh, term then algebraic term is also there. Next I am going to take up this uh, algebraic term in terms of that is uh, uh, y dash only otherwise x dash otherwise f dash any one of the symbols not necessarily always y has to be taken as dependent variable or uh, x is to be taken as a dependent variable or some, some other thing like that. y double dash minus y dash plus 6 y is equal to sin t and the given uh, 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 equation that is given 
uh, uh, initial values y 0 equal to 1 by 10 and y dash 0 is equal to 21 by 10. Okay. In this case that is L of y double dash minus 5 into L of y dash plus 2 into um, you know, L of y is equal to L of sin t. That means, your solution also interchange and the solution that is uh, which is uh, the steps which are which which are given in the previous problem and the same steps were wrongly printed in the next one. We will make the corrections in that one, but the solution of the problem goes like this that one y double dash minus it is 5 times y dash 5 times y dash plus 6 y is equal to sin t. I will go to trigonometric function y 0 equal to 1 by 10 and y dash 0 is equal to 21 by 10. Right side in this problem right side you have a trigonometric function and the constants both are non-zero. In the previous problem one value was 0, another value was not 0, but here in this case both the values are non-zero values. Then same same type you continue uh, taking Laplace transform on both sides. What is that? L of y double dash minus 5 y dash plus 6 y is equal to L of it is sin t. Left side is what? L of y double dash minus 5 you can keep it outside, L of y dash plus 6 you can keep it outside, L of y and right side L of it is sin t. Now, with your knowledge of elementary Laplace transforms you have studied that elementary Laplace transform we can apply and uh, the corresponding formula to the right side as uh, trigonometric function that is sin t, you can compare that sin of a t where a takes the value 1. Therefore, left side L of y double dash using the transforms of derivatives you can write s square L y t and uh, minus s into it is y 0 and minus of it is y dash 0 minus 5 into this is minus 5 into s minus 5 into s. Uh, L y t and this minus is taken inside along with minus uh, along with phi minus phi times becomes plus phi times that is uh, s is there and y 0 this much only for second term plus so 6 times L of it is y t L of y t and what is the answer for L of sin t you have studied in the elementary Laplace transforms L of sin a t. What is the answer for that? The answer is 1 divided by s square plus 1. Here the initial conditions are given that is 1 by 10 for y 0 and for y dash 0 that is 21 by 10 and y is y 0 that is 1 by it is 10. <coughs> then you can take the common uh, functions that is Laplace transform L of y t one term, second term and then it is third term. Therefore, leaving the coefficient s square plus 5 s this one that is minus sign minus sign and this one is 6 it is plus 6 multiplied by L of y t L of y t and the constants values constants values that is on the right side already s square plus 1 is there and this is 1 by 10 multiplied to minus s that becomes s divided by 10 to the right side and 21 by 10 with minus sign when it is taken to the right side it becomes plus sign that is 21 by 10. Now, right side as usual you, you uh, better uh, you always go for taking LCM and then proceed to shift that uh, coefficient to the right side. Suppose if you keep like this only and then bringing the term to the right side, because in every problem on this topic 
that is transforms of derivatives probably it happens. Then if you keep like this then each fraction and the denominator you will have to work out for converting into Laplace inverse, but that is one at the at, at one time if you want to take that means you go for the LCM. Therefore, here if you take 10 as the common factor or uh, something like that that is S plus 21 also you can write then this becomes 1 divided by S square plus 1 that is 10 is the LCM right. What you are going to write 10 plus S into S square plus 1 one thing and plus of 21, 21 that is into S square plus 1 and whole divided by it is 10 into S square plus 1. This is the common LCM in the denominator that is 10 is common and then S square plus 1 is multiplied. Therefore, you can go for some simplifications here S square plus 1 that is with the 10 you can write like uh, that is S plus 21 like 10 plus of otherwise S cube that is plus S plus 21 S square plus 21 whole divided by it is 10 into it is S square plus 1. Uh, for still more uh, simplifications you can do that that is S cube and uh, 21 S square 21 S square and plus S and 10 plus 21 it is 31 and whole divided by whole divided by 10 into S square plus 1 whole divided by 10 into x square plus 1 is the denominator. Now, left side this product is multiplied to L of y t. Therefore, y t you can take on the right side should be S cube plus 21 that is S square and uh, plus S and plus 31 and denominator that is 10 into 10 into this must be S square minus 5 S plus 6. Let me take uh, because I can easily apply I can easily apply this product into linear factors that means I can consider into linear factors because this is a quadratic equation. In the quadratic equation the multiples of this 6 will be 3 into 2 then if you take the addition that uh, 3 and 2 you know, which gives us the coefficient as the of the middle term that is you have to take with minus sign then 10 into I can go like this s plus 2 uh, sorry uh, s minus 2 into s minus 3 because if you expand you are getting the same thing that is s square minus 2s minus 3s you are getting it as minus 5s and minus 2 into minus 3 gives us plus 6 and then uh, another term is that is s square plus 1. This is slightly different from previous application the in this application you have partial fractions of the type linear factor and quadratic factor. So, linear factor and quadratic factor when you come across you must be very careful when you are talking about a quadratic factor for splitting in the numerator there must be two constants which you have to assign. Therefore, y of t y of t is equal to <coughs> that should be uh, L inverse here L inverse y of t is equal to L inverse should be first is linear of course, you can write 10 also outside and then uh, A divided by A divided by S minus 2 plus B divided by S minus 3 and plus of this is a quadratic factor uh, for the quadratic factor when you are splitting there must be two constants to be attached it must be C s plus D like this the second application of partial fractions you are getting that should be denominator is s square plus 1. Therefore, y of t is equal to this much now here also four constants you have to calculate then with the LCM common LCM is s cube and uh, 21 s square and plus s plus 31 can be equated to a into s minus 3 and s square plus 1 
and uh, b that is into s minus 2 and s square plus 1 and plus of it is c s plus d multiplied to c s plus d multiplied to s minus 2 into s minus 3. This is your uh, splitting of partial fractions whenever you come across the product of the product of linear and quadratic. Therefore, you have to assign two values directly and another two values of the constants you can ca calculate by comparing those two values those two values uh, on the on comparison on both sides. I would like to stop up to here and I will continue in my next lecture. If there are any questions you can ask that I will answer for the questions.